Hello, I'm Jay Ford, the beer review guy. Gonna review a red stripe. It's a Jamaican lager beer is what it says. It's 4.7% ABV. And man, it's just a weird feeling out here today. It's weird, I don't know what it is. There's strange noises happening around me. I don't know. It's really weird. I think there's somebody working over there across the, the fence. <laughs> anyway, it's kind of distracting. Um, so Jeffrey Marsh um, wanted me to uh, to drink a red stripe and maybe with Wayne but haven't been able to get together with Wayne to do something like this so um, <clears throat> maybe sometime we can get organized and find the right situation to do that but for right now it's just not working out so uh, but maybe we can here soon um, but uh, for right now this is all I got um, like beer wise to review for right now I've um, been on vacation haven't really been you know had a time had any time to do do anything hardly you know go anywhere um, channel wise you know to get stuff to review um, <clears throat> so so uh, <clears throat> ooh, my sinuses are getting me today what does it say back here since 1928 Red Stripe has embodied the spirit, rhythm, and pulse of Jamaica and its people. <clears throat> um, well, that's, period, that's what it's like. Um, let's see, root and bottle by Des, Desnos and Geds Limited, Kingston, Jamaica. <clears throat> Imported by Red Stripe Company. Um, Jeffrey said that uh, that the adjunct in red stripe is cassava starch. <coughs> Some of that kind of, I mean, starch, of course, yeah, sounds familiar. Cassava sounds a little familiar, but I don't know what that is. I've never heard of that being as an adjunct in a beer before, but all right, so let's check this out. Here's the red stripe. Mmm. <clears throat> that smells good. It's it's a nice day out today. It's not. It's still got a, some humidity in there. The temperature's like maybe 80, 80, 81, somewhere around there. <clears throat> you get just a very very light coolness there was, last night there was um, a thunderstorm that came through it wasn't a very big one but I think it kind of cooled things down just a little bit we've been having a lot of rain a lot of storms a lot of overcast um, <clears throat> which if the chances are like you know 30 40 percent um, but there's, I can't get out a whole lot of stuff to start doing projects outside, so it kind of makes that a little inconvenient. About a little, little over a finger of head, got a nice white, um, fluffy head, um, a little bit of a frothiness, a little soap, soapy, kind of foamy look to the... To the head um, has a nice aroma just a light just a light skunkiness a little bit just a little dankness it being a brown bottle you wouldn't think you get a skunkiness but it's there um, it's an, it's a nice 
kind of a skunky aroma from to me but I mean it's not as skunky as what like like um, like a Heineken or something would be maybe a light maltiness it smells really good nice goldish appearance medium body light light carbonation um, nice flavor just a light metallic like what you might get out of a like an aluminum can but it's not that big just kind of I got it at first now I don't get it so much maybe it's just that first drink you get a little bit of a maltiness on the taste <clears throat> um, it does put off a different kind of taste maybe this is the cassava starch that Jeffrey was talking about um, let's see that aftertaste is uh, maybe just a very very little little bitterness it's not not a whole lot <clears throat> but it's there It's a good beer. It's unique. It's not like like a lot of beers. It just it just has its own kind of thing going on, which sets itself aside from other beers. Um, it's an enjoyable one. I like it. The ABV is really really low, 4.7. At 4.7 percent, is that what it was? <clears throat> Where did it go? There it is. Yeah, I mean, so um, it's almost a refreshing beer. Um, but that medium body kind of makes you makes it to where it's like a little filling. Um, so I wouldn't call it a 100% refreshing beer, but it does have that kind of feature about it um, a little bit. It's a it's a nice social beer. Um, you just wouldn't be able to drink a lot of these. Um, back to back because it's going to fill you up like really quick but uh, and this is all totally my opinion uh, it's just what I'm getting from it excuse me has a little bit of a different appearance to it I think than it used to Man, there's all kinds of noises going on. Um, so yeah, we got lots of plans in the mix that we're wanting to try to do as projects and trying to get you know organized with that. So um, just the channel's kind of kind of light right now. So. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> uh, my ear itches. Yeah, now the sun's coming out a little bit more. A little bit more, more full of throttle. Okay, well, I'm going to end it there. Very good. Very good. I thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jeffrey. Jeffrey Marsh for the uh, suggestion to review this. 
Um, like I said, here sometime soon, maybe I can get with with Wayne and we can do like we did that one time, sit and uh, uh, drink one, and visit, talk, let you guys all uh, listen in. And uh, until then, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.